Hello friends, welcome to our channel Plants, Crochet, Cooking and More. As we know, the festival season has come to an end, so we need to get back to work and here we are. So let us begin with a very small but cute project. Today we'll be learning to make this cute little planter. As I always do, I'm using the number 12 hook and I have gathered some of my yarns, the leftover yarns and we'll be starting with the magic ring. Then we make chain 3 and then we are going to make 2 more double crochet. That will make a total of 3 double crochets. Now we are going to chain 2. That's 1 and 2. And then make another set of 3 double crochets. This project is very simple. Even the beginners can try their hands on it. Once the three double crochet is complete, we again chain two and make another set of three double crochet. second one and the third one now what we do is we'll again chain two and slip stitch into the into the uh, third chain of the first double crochet starting double crochet of the yarn and attach some other color to it. Here I'm using a yellow one. You can use anything. Now in the same manner we are going to work three double crochets in the corner of the previous uh, portion. Now that's one then again the second double crochet and the third. Now as we are working in the corner so we need to make two double uh, two uh, sorry chains and another set of double crochet yes now we chain one and make another set of three double crochet in the corner which will be followed again by two number of chains another set of double crochet and so in the same manner we need to work in the remaining two corners as well as I told you it is very easy and simple so I hope you all will try this out Here I'll be using different uh, colored yarns. If you wish to, you can use a single color as well. It is up to you how you want your plant holder to be. Now working on the final corner in the same manner. Now 
once that is done we again chain one and we'll slip stitch into the third chain of the first cluster or the first uh, double crochet then we'll snip off the yarn and attach a new yarn to it and in the same manner we are going to work Making a chain of three, which will be counted as one double crochet, as we all know by now, right? Now, as here I have started from the very midpoint, so I am making another two double crochet. Once that is done, I am going to chain one and jump into the corner, and here. We are we will be working like how we had done in the previous row that is making three double crochets, then we chain two and another set of three double crochet in the corner. that is done we chain one and again we'll jump into the space that is available in the middle and make another set of three double crochet one two three yes now we chain one and move on to the corner and continue in the same process it is very easy you just follow the uh, video you'll be able to do it without any difficulty now we have reached the end point we chain one and we'll slip stitch into the third chain of the first double crochet and snip off a yarn already it is looking so colorful now I have attached a different yarn we need to work in the same manner and here I'll be working for about 11 rows out and in the same manner I'll make another granny square and now I'll keep the granny squares one top of the other with the right side facing each other now we will stitch the granny squares together with the help of the crochet hook itself and we'll just make single crochet we'll pass the crochet hook through both the granny squares and then work single crochet all across simple and if you don't want to use the crochet hook you can use your tapestry needle as well it is up to you but I think it will be better if you use the crochet hook now in the same manner we are going to work on all the three sides leaving one side open We'll turn our work inside out and with the right side on the outer side we will start from one of its end here I'm using a green color yarn and again we are going to chain three which will be counted as one double crochet now another the second double crochet in the same place and the third double crochet so we have three double crochets in the very beginning now we chain one and then we'll jump into the next gap 
and make another set of 3 double crochet. Now we chain 1 and we'll jump into the next gap and make another set of 3 double crochet and we need to keep working in the same pattern on all the 3 sides. See, I have reached one of the corner and see how we need to work. We make, we make a chain one and then into the gap. I have passed the crochet hook and I am making three double crochet and then chain one and again jumping into the next chain gap to make another set of three double crochet. So here one thing that I would like to tell you is even if you are working in the corners we will just make one set of 3 double crochet. Let us work on the open side. Here too we chain 1 and then we are jumping into the gap to make 3 double crochet same sequence is repeated there is no change in the pattern See while working on the inner corner also there will be no change. We just make 3 double crochet in one of the gaps then again chain 1 and continue. I hope you are already planning which plant you are going to place in it. Well I have already planned mine. a different colored yarn and after leaving a gap of three loops we are going to make three double crochet in the similar manner we are going to chain one and then jump into the next chain space till we have made a set of five double crochets this part it is up to you if you wish to do you may do if you want to leave this out you may leave it out once our five double crochet clusters are made we are going to slip stitch two chains and then jump into the chain gap and make a chain of three which will be counted as one double crochet and work another Two double crochets in the same space so we have a total of three double crochet then we'll chain one and again work in the next gap so in the first row we had five uh, set of double clusters in the second we'll be having four then three then two then finally one while we turn our work to take it to the point of working we'll just slip the stitch into the two chains so that we reach to the 
place where we need to work working the final set of three double crochet that's the last one we are working so it's done now we'll attach a new yarn and work three double crochet clusters in each gaps and again we are going to chain one and work another set of three double crochets in the similar fashion till we reach the end of the row a different colored yarn we will start making little loops that is we make a single crochet then we chain eight and then we skip two clusters and then again make a single crochet so we have about five loops loops you can make five loops you can make six loops and now the loose ends we are going to tuck it away now see it is almost ready and here i'll be attaching another loop on top of the previous loops it is up to you again as i always say the loose ends of the yarn is important friends i hope you all enjoyed the video please do not forget to share subscribe and comment to the like button if you found the video interesting if you are new to our channel do take a moment to subscribe and stay tuned for more of interesting videos in future so till then it is bye bye for today